Okay, this is example two in our differential equations topic. If you haven't seen example one on my reintroduction, uh, then go and watch it just now. So this is the first of our two strategies really for solving first order differential equations. And these are equations that will come up in this form here. In other words, uh, we're going to have x and y terms and we're also going to have um, our first derivative as well. So in other words, we should be able to say we've got a function of y and a function of x and a first uh, derivative in the mix somewhere. Okay, and what we're actually going to do, there's a lot of mathematical theory behind all of this. Um, but effectively, we're going to uh, we're going to separate the variables. Okay, now um, what we're going to do is assume so this dy by dx. Now, it's a big jump mathematically, but it's, if you don't know any better, um, you can just believe it. Um, dy by dx is an expression in its own right, but it's the way it's written as a fraction means technically we could use our, our knowledge of fractions to say that we could technically multiply both sides here by dx. Okay. Now, dx technically isn't a, a separate entity in its own right, but we could actually, um, it works this way. And there's a kind of slightly complex mathematical explanation as to why it does. So what we're basically saying is if we can have a function of y, dy, equals a function of x, dx. That's us multiplying both sides by dx, because multiplying both sides, that fraction cancels there, and we've got the dx on the right-hand side. And if we were to then introduce our integral, sign or integrate both sides, we've then got an ability to differentiate a, a function in y with respect to y, and we're also able to integrate a function in x with respect to x. And that should allow us then to come up with a solution for our equation. So that's the kind of theory behind it. We call that separating the variables because variables. We're going to have all the y terms usually on the left hand side and all the x terms on the right and the dx on the right as well. So let's go look at what that kind of looks like in practice. So here, example two, find the general solution of this first order differential equation. So the first thing I need to make sure is that the y terms are on the left and the x terms are on the right. So I've got this 1 over y term here. So if I multiply both sides by y, I'm going to end up with y dy by dx equals 1 over x squared. I'll just do it one step at a time. So I've got my y terms on the left, my x terms on the right. I'm going to separate, now I've separated the variables x and y, I'm also going to multiply both sides by dx effectively. I'm also going to rewrite this as a, a negative index because I'm going to have to do it. And I can take the dx over to the other side or multiply both sides by dx and I've got this expression here. I can then integrate both sides. And as you can see here, we've got two very doable uh, integration expressions. So the integral of y with respect to y is y squared over 2, or a half y squared. And the integral of, with respect uh, to x on the right-hand side is x to the power negative 1 divided by the new power plus c. So we've got y squared equals 2 times uh, negative 1 over x plus c y squared equals negative 2 over x plus c. Notice that I don't have to multiply the constant term by 2 as well because it is at the moment just a constant term. Okay. Now I could uh, go one step further and uh, say that y is the square root of c minus 2 over x or something to tidy it up. Um, and I could do that. And that would be my general solution. Okay. So that's the idea behind uh, our separating variable technique. We've got a few more of these examples, so if you want to keep watching them, uh, tune into examples three and four and just get the idea of separating the variables.